Hello out there, all you geography fans, and welcome to this how-to video on how to make a map using Google Earth and Microsoft Paint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a map that has all of bolts. So bolts are the things that maps need to have. They are border orientation, legend title, scale, and source. And I'm going to show you how to use these free applications to make a proper map for your geography assignments. So the first thing I'm going to check for my map is the layers. So I'm going to go view layers and I want a nice clean satellite image. So you'll see it removes all those borders and labels and everything. That's the first thing I'm going to do. The next thing I'm going to check is if I change the orientation of my map, that's going to affect my map uh, later in the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button here that says reset to true north. So to make sure that your map is facing north before you begin. Now there's two ways or two types of files that you can save your map as. So if I click on new, it comes up with drive project. So it'll save as a file on your Google Drive account. You need a Google account for that, obviously. If you don't have a Google account, that's fine. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you click on local KML file and then you go create. And this is an uploadable and downloadable file um, that you can store on your own device and on Google Earth as well. And they'll live in this little part here. All right, now we're ready to start our map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the place that I wanna make my map. So I'm gonna go Bulleye, New South Wales, my favorite holiday destination in Australia. And I'm gonna click out of that to get rid of the boundary. And I'm gonna zoom in here on the township of Bulleye. I'm gonna move this over a little bit too. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you these two functions here. So this is how I can annotate the Google Earth satellite image using Google Earth um, before I put all the bolts onto it on Microsoft Paint. So the first one is place mark. So I'm going to click on add place mark and I'm going to go here to the Woolai Hotel. I can add in a title for it. I can change the symbol on the place mark by clicking on this button here. I can also change the color of it as well. So I'm going to change it to green. I'm actually not going to have a title for this project um, and I'll show you why my orientation a bit later. So I'm going to click out of that and then just click X and you'll see that place mark will save. Do the same for the caravan park, which is located here. I'll keep that one blue, I'm happy with that. I'll get rid of the title that says untitled place mark, and then I'll just click X. So that's the place mark function, it's pretty easy. The next one is add path or polygon. So this is when you can draw shapes on your map. I might zoom in for a bit more detail. Okay, so I might do this block of land here, and what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna click and drag. Start again. So what I'm doing is I'm just clicking around this little block of land here. And I'm gonna make that a closed shape by going back to the start. What's handy for your geography assignments is that it shows you the length of the polygon that you made, but then also the area of it as well, which can be handy depending on the project you're doing. Then I'm gonna click on save project and then I can start adding it and editing it as well. So you can change the width of the line by clicking a higher number, you get a thicker line, a thinner line, uh, sorry, a smaller number, you get a thinner line. You can also change the color of it as well. So I might change this one to red. Change the fill to red as well. You can see it fills in the color a little bit. If you wanna have just uh, a border around, you go zero. If you wanna have a complete solid shape, you click 100%. If you wanna um, have some transparency there, I might leave it on 25% because I still want to see the houses in that residential area there. And then I click on the X there and that'll save that polygon for me. So let's say I'm ready to take um, this image off Google Earth and put it onto Microsoft Paint to finish off my map. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag this away a little bit so I can get a better image. I'm gonna zoom out just ever so slightly so I can get a bit of the beach in there because I don't want any of these buttons in here in my snip. So I'm gonna go new snip on the snipping tool. Then I'm going to take a snip of the map like so. It's really important now, once you take your snip, you don't move because otherwise you'll mess with your scale. Then you go into snipping tool and you go copy. I'm gonna go down to a Microsoft Paint file. I'm gonna click this select button here. Select a random area. I'm just gonna press control V and that's gonna take my map and paste it onto there. I'm gonna adjust the border of this as well. All right, very good. So now I've got my annotated Google Earth satellite image onto a paint file. The next thing you wanna do immediately is that you're gonna take a snip of your scale here. So I'm just gonna to go to my snipping tool, take a new snip, and then I'm gonna take a snip of my scale 
like so. I'm gonna go into here and go copy. Then I'm gonna go into here and then go paste. Now I don't wanna let go of that, otherwise it'll put that on the top corner of that image. Now this is the next thing I'm gonna to do to make my map look really good. I'm gonna select a line, so I might do my scale in red to make it stand out. So I'm gonna go red and then I'm gonna go line. I wanna make it a fairly thin line as well. And then I'm gonna click here and make sure that is the exact width and that it's straight of the scale of 500 meters. Now, while that's still highlighted and selected, I'm gonna click and drag it off that image. So now I have a proper scale. I'm gonna have a scale, a line that's exactly 500 meters according to Google Earth. Um, I'm just gonna have a new little line here, like my exemplar scale does, and I'll do the same over here as well. That didn't look very good, so I'll do it again. Oop. All right, that'll do. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm just gonna select and I'm gonna delete this one here. Now, since that was 500 meters, I'm going to go on this text button here. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, otherwise that's gonna be quite large. And I'm just gonna click here and do 500 meters, just as it had on Google Earth. All right, then I'm gonna zoom out. I'm going to select this area here. And I'm going to drag that onto my map in the bottom corner here, like so. Now I've got a scale on my map, which is really good. And that's the hardest part. Just to tidy it up, I might put a nice little border around that part of the map. If I select square instead of line, and that'll look nice and neat. All right, there we go. Now I've got a scale on my map. So that's one of the bolts done. The next thing I'm gonna do is orientation, which is actually quite easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go select and then I'm gonna select a little section of the map here, and I'm gonna press delete. So I'm gonna make a blank spot in my map. And then I'm gonna go back on to the square button, and I'm gonna draw a border around that to make it a bit nicer and neater. I'm gonna draw an arrow that is pointing up because I know that my map is already true north because I did that earlier in the tutorial and when I was making my map. Then I'm gonna go on the text and then I'm just gonna do an N for north and I'm gonna make sure that is in there like so. All right, and now just like that, I have an orientation. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is maybe the hardest part. Um, I'm gonna do my legend now. So again, I'm gonna go on the square button. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna make a nice big space for my legend going to give my legend a title, which I should have, like so. Might even make that a little bit bigger. So it's a bit easier to see, and I'll put that in bold as well, like so. Right, and then I'll just have that there. All right, so this is looking good so far. Now, what I need to do is I need to go back into Google Earth, because I need to get the exact colors um, for the features of my map. And this is how you do it. So you be a bit clever with it and you use your snipping tool. So let's get the caravan park first. So I'm gonna click on it and go edit. I wanna click on this blue button here, but there's this annoying tick over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my snipping tool and I'm gonna take a snip. And I'm gonna take a snip of, might actually take a better one to be honest. Bit bigger. I'm gonna take a snip of this exact blue. So I've got the exact color without having to worry about it. And then I'm going to go copy, and then I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit. And then select an area and go paste, and it's going to come up with this blue area here. Now to get rid of this tick, this is how you do it. You just select an area, drag it down, tick's gone. All right, so this blue represents where the caravan park is, because that's what it's got on my place mark here. And that's the exact same color blue. So the next thing I'm going to do is just add in some text, Caravan Park. I'm going to write it next to that. All right, that's done. So that's the first feature of my legend. Done like that. Now this is quite fiddly, so I'm going to do that same thing again. So I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to go edit, 
go onto this green, take a snip. Again, this is the most fiddly part, and you'll see why a little bit more in a second. So take a snip, copy. Now I want to be zoomed in for this and you'll see why in a second because it has to be the same size because I want to keep my map nice and even. So it's going to be the same size as this blue here. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to get rid of the tick by dragging like so. And then I want to make sure it's the exact same size by, I'm going to have to shrink it just a little bit. So you can see how the blue is there. So I'm just going to make it the same size and then dragging it down here. See how that looks. Might just keep that there. All right, again, go my text, same size. That's going to be the Y Hotel. So the reason I took the headings off in Google Earth is because I wanted my legend to show a bit more detail, uh, which you want. So you want to have, you want to put something valuable in your legend. Let's do the residential area now. So my residential area, it's a slightly darker red than that color. So I need the exact same red. So again, I'm going to go into here. I'm actually going to save myself a job and getting rid of that tick by just getting that red straight away. And then I want to go copy back into here, select. Again, I want to be zoomed in on these little symbols in my legend because I want them all to be the same size. I go paste. The blue one is my one I'm going to use as my master. So a little bit more that way. Cool. And that's the same size. So I'll zoom out again. I'm going to put it a little bit further over this way. Again, you can have your legend horizontal across the bottom like mine. You can have it vertically up next to your map here. It just depends on what you need for your assignment. And this I'm just going to say is a residential area. All right, very good. Now there's some other features that are on my map other than the ones I annotated. So the first one, you can see there's a lot of vegetation. There's an estuary here, there's the ocean here, and then there's some sand and some sediment here as well. So I'm gonna add these features because they are on my map as well. I haven't annotated them, but they're still there. Um, and it's quite easy to do. So the first one I'm gonna do is vegetation. So I'm just gonna take a snip of this little forest area here. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for my annotated features. So okay, I'm gonna zoom in. I know that the red is the same size as the blue. I'm gonna go select, control V, and I wanna make sure that's the same size. Like that, still selecting it. All right, again, vegetation. Right. All right. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the sediment or the sand. So there's different types of sediment there. So I'm just going to call it sediment. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit this and then I'm going to go and take a snip of this sediment here, this little sand bank. If you're doing an urban area, you can do um, like uh, an example of this is like a cityscape. So again, I'm going to zoom in on my red one. I'm going to go control V and make sure that's the same size like so. What's a little bit big. All right, zooming out, still selecting it. All right, make sure that's even text sediment. I could say sand, but sediment. I guess it's a bit more formal. All right, the last one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the water. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna get an example of, or I'm gonna get a snip rather of the water. I've got a few different tones of water here, but I might even just do this section of ocean here. Seems like a good example. All right, I'm happy with that. Take a snip. Again, I can want to zoom right in. I'll even do the sediment one. Making sure they're all the same size. Selecting an area, paste, got my water in there. All 
that's going to represent all the water on my map. Move that over a little further. All right. Zooming out, still selecting it. Perfect text. Water. Very good. Okay. Now, I'm getting ready to put this into my assessment task, but it doesn't have all the things I need it to have. So it doesn't have all the bolts yet. So it doesn't have, it's got an orientation, it's got a scale, and it's got a legend, but I need all the other elements. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this map from paint, I'm gonna go select all, then I'm gonna go control C, I'm gonna open a Word document, and then I'm gonna go control V to paste my map in here, and I'm gonna finish it off. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is select the picture, so you can see it's highlighted there. I'm gonna go picture border, black, and that's gonna make a black uh, border around the outside of my map. So I've got my border for my map, just like that. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it figure one, colon, map of Bly, New South Wales, underneath, source, colon, cool earth. All right, and then I'm just gonna remove the spacing. So that's all together. All right, so now I have a map that has a border, an orientation, a legend, a title, a scale, and a source. So guys, that is how you use Google Earth, Microsoft Paint, and Microsoft Word to make a map using all those free applications. If you want to save your map on Google Earth, it's very easy. You just go File, Export as KML File, and it will download onto your device. You can see it's in my downloads. If I want to re-upload that map, I'll just click on Import. So thanks for watching, guys. Good luck with your map creations, and I'll see you next time.